what's up guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is all about my hair like let's get into it let's get into it what what <laughs> small it was a baby i don't know how many locks i have i think i have like 67 I, I don't really know though because i just haven't taken the time to seriously count them it's this old tale that says it's bad luck to count your locks so i've never like seriously and intentionally counted my locks i think i want my i think i want my necklace one hold on be right back so a fun little story about this necklace. My mom gave me this necklace when I was 16 years old. Um, she got it from like Egypt. And like my mom was very much Afrocentric or whatever, um, like the Neo Soul thing. And she wore this, she still wears it to this day. She wears this Nefertiti with this turquoise band in the head wrap. July, August, September, October, November, December. Ooh, my locks are almost five years old. So my locks are four years and six months old. Wow. Okay, so what's up y'all? It's like six o'clock in the morning. I am always up early. So I really just wanted to come and talk about my hair. I just recently started my locks and I believe I have like 66 or 64 or 65 locks um, and I just had like a gut feeling one day that okay it's time to lock my hair and it's funny like I'm reflecting on it like wow because y'all know that like I have shaved my head like 50 times. In my four year, six month lock journey, I've had people ask me, how do I get my locks so thick? The only thing that I can think of is just genetics. Naturally, I have 4C hair. My mom has 4C hair, like this is just how our hair is. My son has 4C hair, like this is just what it is. And I used to shave my head. And you know how like, like leg hair, you shave it and then it grows back thicker. I had a boy cut. I'm gonna insert a little picture of my little boy cut. One of these places. I had a little boy cut. Um, so many times, y'all. I can't even really. I just can't. I only use a particular oil. I like to make my oil. Um, and so this is my oil. It's like the herbs and stuff are at the bottom. Um, I pray over this oil and it's not necessarily for like looks or stuff it's more so like health I like to just use the same thing um I always go to the same stylist like I never be like hey can you do my hair or hey oh like I will Bob Marley it out until I go see my homegirl shout out to her I used to put twist over my locks now I don't do anything because I think that my locks are too thick for something to go over or whatever. So I just thug it out and just wear it like this. Um, I like to get my hair retwisted, admire how it looks, twist it up. Then when I wanna go out, take it down so it can be curly. Then after a few days, oh, and I let my boyfriend play in it. And then, <laughs> and then I twist it back up and then I like go get it done and stuff like that. Um, this is my length, like I can't believe this y'all look at that it is right here what girl you got hair girl i like the bust down or whatever and then when it gets longer <laughs> but y'all my hair is already heavy i'm gonna just show y'all some things that i like to do this is my little chair barbie pony um, I don't typically have this bunch of on. I have like a black thing. And like, this is just like how I just pull my hair back. Like I don't do a lot of manipulation. Like to me, the length, that mid length, you just, 
gotta rock it out kind of like the short length like the really really short you just gotta let it rock i don't do much to my hair but like i like to do this and then my other style i'm gonna twist my hair and then i'm gonna show y'all how i wear it um oh i also like to go low like with a bun and just it don't never come out right that's why i never press hairstyles because like it's gonna stick up like french fries or something gonna hang down like i don't have the time oh, that hairstyle was weak as fuck because it didn't even turn out right like i don't have time to be sitting here playing um you know what i'm saying like i can't be doing all that right now i encourage anyone that wants to um i'm getting ready to go that wants to and i'm cooking that wants to um get locks to get locks because like just keep in mind that like when you get your locks like you can't compare your locks to someone else's locks and i know y'all probably heard like 100 people say this but like i personally believe that it's true because it's your hair like once it starts to form and stuff like that it's gonna be like tailor made like it's gonna be so beautiful like for you and like how your hair is and how you are and all that other stuff like it's gonna look so good um but yeah like i love my hair you would think by the almost fifth year i would know how to retwist my own locks i i'm lost a little bit on how to get the part so crispy back there but i'm gonna keep trying i retwist my boyfriend's locks um he lets me that man let me do he let me do whatever i want <laughs> he's like sure babe you can do whatever you want i'd be like Like I said in my last lock video, get your locks. It's really, really cold in Chicago, so like I have to wear earmuffs and stuff because I don't want to put a beanie over my locks. I did. I got my son one of those beanies, um, that satin line. Hopefully he didn't lose it, but I'm just gonna wear earmuffs from now. Um, a lot of people told me not to get locks, but like I'm glad I didn't listen to them because I'm secure with how my stuff you know what i'm saying like it's just me like i have no desire to be like anyone else i have no desire to please anyone else i do have the desire to pick lint out my locks sometimes but i ain't gonna be able to fulfill that desire right now but anyways um i just wanted to make this update so that i could have something in my lookbook four years from now when I was <laughs> I'm dramatic okay but no I really do have to go to Sephora because I'm trying to be like a makeup girly and shout out to y'all because this not cheap um this is Fenty Beauty by Rihanna I'm taking this back to Rihanna because I don't I wasn't feeling it um I don't want to be a makeup girly, you know? Like, this is what I got to offer when I wake up. So it's like, it's difficult. Not because I don't want to. It is difficult. And, like, I see why y'all make makeup don't always be right. Or I see how it can be too much or too little. Or I, I, I get it. Because it's a science to it. And I don't know if I'm ready for that. Like, I tried. And, and I was unsuccessful. Thanks for coming and watching my video. If you have any questions about locks or, I don't know, like I said, this is the most confident I've ever been with myself in so many areas and levels or whatever. And it's just because like, you don't love what's perfect. You see what's perfect and you consume what's perfect all the time. You just, you're only responsible, you're only you're only responsible for just loving what God gave you and how he gave it to you. Like, you're not responsible for changing it or thinking that somebody don't like it. No, you just gotta wake up every day and love it. And that's not, that, that, that's all you gotta do. It's simple instructions, but I understand how it can be hard. Um, but thank you all for coming to watch my video about my hair. And I am gonna be working on figuring out what I'm gonna do with my channel. 
Um, so if you love me, stick with me. I love you and all that other good stuff. And remember to stay grounded and whatever it is that you want to do, just do it to get closer to the life that you want to live. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>